so in this uh, in this video series, we are creating uh, an app in Java to to store volunteer uh, information. <clears throat> in the last in the last uh, video, what we did is we created the ability uh, to to uh, have a default uh, image uh, showing in our GUI. So um, we updated our GUI so that we see the default image of the person. But if we want to change that, we need a way of doing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to change this a little bit. We're going to add in a button here, and <clears throat> and then we're going to uh, connect that button with something called the file chooser, which will allow us to choose a different image uh, from the file system of the computer and then store that uh, at a later time. So let's let's connect that up. So if we go into our view. Um, what we need is a button. So I'm going to take a button here. Whoops. And where I want this button is right underneath this image view. So to do that, let's first make a vertical box. And I'll put my image view in this vertical box. And then I can take a button. I can put it in the vertical box as well. And <clears throat> as you can see, it puts them right tight together here. So inside my vertical box, I can do a couple things. One is I'll say rather than make it top left, let's make everything centered. And under the layout, We've used 20 pixel spacing for everything else, so let's add that in. Okay. Now the button, we want this to say change image. Hit save. So now we can use this, uh, this button in our view. So we'll go back to our controller. Our controller has two methods right now. We have the initialize method, which inside of here, we load that default image. And then we have the save volunteer button method, which tries to create a volunteer. Sorry, it's not a button, it's a, it's a method. So we're going to uh, create another method here, and I'll just keep them alphabetical. So just like the others, I always like to start off with uh, putting in a description of what we want the method to do. It actually really helps me structure um, <clears throat> my thoughts around uh, what goes inside of the method. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to actually launch something uh, called a file chooser. And we actually see these all the time. Um, so for example, if I said open project here, what we get launched is a file chooser object. So that's basically what we want. Um, and we want this to be uh, customized. We want it to look for just JPEG or PNG files. So in order to do that, we first need to use the stage. Um, uh, again, in JavaFX, the stage is really synonymous with the window. We need to get access to our, our existing window so we can launch um, uh, this, this file chooser. So first thing we do, we'll get the stage. This is a little, we're casting things a few different ways here. 
So we take the event, right? So when we push the button, it triggers an event. So we'll take that event and we say, we'll get the source of that event. And then we'll cast that as a node and we'll say, we'll get the scene from that. From that, get the window. So we'll add in a stage. Okay. So now we have access to the window. And so now we can create our file chooser object. And so we're going to say file chooser, file chooser, we'll say new file chooser. This is what's great. Someone's already created this for us. We don't have to go and create our own file chooser. And we can do things just like any other window. So we can say file chooser, set the title. And in here, let's say open image. And like I said before, we don't want them to open, say, a, uh, a Word document or an Excel document or PDF or something like that. We want only image files. So what we can do is we can set a filter for JPEG and PNG files. So I'm going to create something called a, uh, a JPEG extension filter. And I'm going to call the first one JPEG filter. What's new? And as it says, we put in the description. So we'll say image file. And it ends with JPG. And the extensions that we're looking for are JPG. And I'll do a similar thing for PNGs. So that gives us our PNGs. And then all we have to do is we just have to add these. So we're going to say uh, file chooser. Say file chooser, get the extensions, filters, right? And what this does is it creates an observable list. And we're just going to add that list because it was previously empty. <laughs> um, and in here, we're going to say add all, put in the JPEG filter and the PNG filter. Okay. So now we've filtered for JPEG, maybe we'll give her that space. Now we've, we've set up our file filters, and we can set the default directory. By default, it'll just go to the C drive. Um, but usually, most people don't keep their pictures on their C drive. They actually keep it in like their user's pictures file. So So let's, I'm going to create a little string here called user directory string. And the system can actually get this for us. So we're going to get the property <clears throat> user.home. And <clears throat> we're going to append on to this is pictures uh, directory. So so in a Windows machine, this will figure out what the user's home, uh, like your My Documents folder is, and then go to the pictures directory. And you need to validate if that's a if that's a, even valid on the user's machine. So
And the nice thing is there's a lot of file and directory utilities in Java. So all we have to do is we just have to check. We say, well, if the user directory You cannot read the user directory. I called the user directory string. Yeah, that's a bit long. Okay, so basically, you set up this string, and <clears throat> um, Uh, sorry, I skipped a step here. Do this, and then we create a file. So, <clears throat> so with files, and although the class is called files, it's, it's files and it also handles directories. So what we're saying here, if the user directory, if you can read it, and then we have this not in front. So if you cannot read the user directory, then <clears throat> what we want to do is we'll say the user directory So if we can't get to a, a pictures folder, at least go to the user's home folder. Okay. So that now gives us the filters for JPEG and PNG, and it also gives us the ability to um, navigate to uh, the proper directory out of the gate. And so now that we have that, we can say file chooser, set the initial directory. And then now let's actually open the file. Here, I'm going to say the image file. Because remember, when we, when we set this up with the initialize method, we said the image file is going to point to the default image. Okay? So what we're going to do is this thing should return some new image. So we're going to update where it points to. So here we'll say image file equals file chooser dot show open dialog. And we pass in the stage we created at the top here. Now this won't actually change uh, the image just yet. <clears throat> what this will do is it'll open up a window, allow the user to navigate to an image that they want. Um, and it will it'll update the image file, you know, the instance variable there, but it doesn't actually change the image view yet. So the last thing is update the image view. So we say if if that is a file, okay, so we're assuming that the user has selected a valid image file. You can try. I'm basically going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to create a buffered image. And we can read a file. And then our image view, we can say set the image. Okay, so if all went well, the user selected an image file, 
we've tried to load it and update it. But anytime you read from the file system, you could get something called an IO exception, input output exception, exception. And if that happens, we'll just send it to our error stream. And let's hit save. And if we go back to our view, now when I click on this, if I go to code, I can connect up that method called choose image button push. So let's hit save here. Okay, everything looks okay here. Let's hit run. So now if I change the image, let's, uh, I don't know. Okay, I guess, oops. Okay, we didn't handle that well. Let's try that again. Hmm, why is it not showing me any images? That's odd, okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Ah. Let's try that. So we're looking for any series of characters that end with .jpg. I forgot the, forgot the wild card at the front there. Try this again. Okay, there's a picture of a pool. And now it updates it so we have a picture of the pool in there. Now, <clears throat> um, the very last thing we need to do um, would be if we wanted to use this image over the default image, it would be to update uh, what happens when we hit the save button. And I'm going to handle that in the next video. So stay tuned.